Hi guys, Nick here from Firefly Studios. Today, we're gonna to be running through your questions, observations, and comments regarding Romans Age of Caesar, our new upcoming co-op city builder. I have personally scoured the net for your questions on Discord, Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, and probably other places I'm forgetting about right now to discover what you're most interested in about the game. And today, we're gonna to be presenting eight things you need to know about Romans Age of Caesar. As Walter Frey himself points out, Romans is in many ways a spiritual successor to the Caesar series, which Simon Bradbury and Eric Ouellette helped produce, design and code way back in the 90s. What this means is you can expect a similar graphical style, some nice touches and mechanics that are familiar to you from that City Builder series, but with a nice grand strategy layer sort of sitting on top. And really, if you can't trust Walter Frey, who can you trust? One of the biggest features to come to Rome's Age of Caesar is the ability to build Rome together. Now, what I mean by this is the fact that you and 15 other Roman governors will be building a shared city from the ground up before turning your eye to the rest of the empire. Each player will have their own district, but it will be up to you to share resources, erect grand structures like the Colosseum, and protect each other from barbarian attack. You'll still be in an open world with thousands of other players, but just remember, Rome wasn't built in a single day, nor by a single person. As Bashley points out, the coder, producer, assistant designer, art director, and composer of the classic Caesar games all still work for Firefly Studios. What this means is you're going to get tons of classic Sealy Builder gameplay, albeit in our new exciting online environment. While the game's currently still in alpha, we already have loads of awesome pixel art, atmospheric music, and Sealy Builder core gameplay that you know and love from that series. What I'm saying here is that your plebs are going to go wild. Roll the clip. When the hard day's work is done, these plebs know how to set the night on fire! That's right, Nightshade. In Romans, Age of Caesar, you'll be able to barter or backstab your way to the very top of the Roman Senate. As we move between closed alphas and eventually into open beta, we're going to be adding a Roman Senate game to Romans Age of Caesar. What this means is there's going to be a political layer that sits atop everything else, allowing you a few different approaches to either negotiate your way to the top of the Senate with a silver tongue or with a cloak and a dagger. This means eventually working your way up to the title of Caesar and the mantle of Roman Emperor. Just like Spider-Man said, With great power comes great responsibility. So remember, if you are Caesar, There'll be a thousand people behind you waiting to stab you in the back. As Neon Fusion Beta alludes to in his no-nonsense question, Roman's Age of Caesar will feature a greater degree of RTS combat than in Stronghold Kingdoms, with the ability to control your legion at will and issue a few special attacks of your own. Now this is just one part of Roman's Age of Caesar, with city building, the empire map, and the political game just as important. But basically, as RTS fans ourselves, we wanted to improve on that element of the game. Romans is designed from the ground up as a full cross-platform game, meaning Silverfang and all the other prospective governors out there can get the full PC experience on their mobile. So whether you're an Apple fanboy, rep Android for life, or just want to sit at home in front of your ultra-wide gaming monitor, we've got you covered with the full Romans experience everywhere. There's also nothing to stop you from jumping between different platforms, meaning you could build a city at home on your PC, log in on your mobile on the bus to harvest your neighbor's resources, and then open up a tablet on your lunch break to lay siege to a barbarian stronghold. Sadly, there's no Windows Phone version planned. RIP Windows Phone. Good night, sweet prince. 10,000 people, maybe more. To answer the countless stronghold fans out there who've asked us this question, no. Roman's Age of Caesar is a new co-op city builder from Firefly Studios. It's a new IP, not a stronghold game. Between Stronghold Next, Stronghold Kingdoms, and Roman's Age of Caesar, these are the three projects Firefly are currently working on at the moment. So sorry, Dennis, you're not going to be seeing the wolf facing off against Julius Caesar and stabbing him in the back. You got it, Casper. Just like with Stronghold Kingdoms, Roman's Age of Caesar will be completely free to play. Just like any MMO, we're going to need thousands of players to get going, and for Roman's very unique co-op gameplay, we're going to need loads of prospective senators and governors worldwide to create this unique online world. As with Kingdoms, we're going to be working with our players during alphas to fine-tune all of this, but a well-balanced free-to-play MMO seems like the best call to launch a game in 2019. Unless you're Blizzard, in which case, you just do this. Yeah! 
So there you have it. That was eight things that you need to know about Roman's Age of Caesar. Hopefully that's enough to tide you over into our full gameplay reveal, but if not, you can always sign up to the alpha. You can do that right now by heading over to playromans.com to pre-register for the game, or you can just subscribe here on YouTube for the latest Firefly Studios, Roman's Age of Caesar, and Stronghold X news. Now, to Rome! I don't know why I sound like Deckard Cain there from Diablo 3, but it worked.